Hi, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to automate file uploads in the browser using Axiom.ai. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, for a little bit of context, we're going to be using a template available on our website. It's a base template, so it can be used on any website. But for this example, I'm going to adapt it and show you Axiom uploading files to our um, Dropbox. So what this template does is it reads file paths from a Google Sheet, like the ones you see I've got set up here in this sheet. It then opens the web page you want to open, like um, upload files to, in this case, Dropbox. You then select the upload field, which Axiom will interact with and upload the files to looping through each row in the Google Sheet until the task is complete. As I've mentioned, to get started, you're going to need a Google Sheet, like the one on screen now, and make sure you have your file paths in column A of that sheet. OK, next up, you, of course, are going to need to install the template. Now, you can find the template on axiom.ai. If you click the top menu, you will see um, there's a template links where you'll find this and all the other templates we have. So feel free to try any others. How to automate uploading files. This is a template that you want. Then simply click install. If you don't already have an Axiom account, don't worry, just sign up and create accounts. There'll be a button that says to sign up instead of the install button. And all new users get 60 minutes free runtime, so you can try this or any other template out. Without further ado, I'm going to open up Axiom and show you how this template works. I'm going to create a new automation, start from template. This is where you can access the templates within your Axiom account. I'm going to click on File Uploads, Downloads. I'm going to choose Uploading Files. The template will load in. Axiom just checks to make sure I've got the desktop app. That's because I have to use the desktop app to upload files. If I want to upload files in Google um, in um, the cloud, I'll need to use the Google Drive step. But I'm doing this from my desktop. And now I'm ready to click Start Setup. The first thing Axiom is asking you to do here in field one is read the read data from Google Sheet. This step basically will fetch the file pass from the Google Sheet. It's asking me to select the Google Sheet that I wish to use. So on Spreadsheet, I click on the drop down. I, I know the sheet's called Upload, so I select that sheet. Now Axiom will load in the default first um, tab in that sheet, which has the file paths in. That's why I recommend column A. And um, there we go. In the output, we can see a preview of the file paths. And that's step one set up. Simple as that. Now I'm ready to press Continue. On to the next step. And the next step is inside a loop step, which is step two, but we don't need to configure anything on that. That's all done for us by Axiom in the background as we've set up this other step. What we need to do is tell Axiom, though, the web page you want to load. And I can do that really easily in step 2.1, the go to page, just by clicking get current URL. And that pulls in the um, URL of Dropbox. And you can see it now in the field. So the continue button has appeared. So I'm going to continue to configure the next step, which is the file upload step. Now, your file upload field may just be on the page and it'll be simple to select, but actually here, it's got a double click. So I'm gonna adjust that a bit. Normally you would just click and select the file, which I'm going to do here. And what I'm gonna do is use the text element there, file, and use text element instead of HTML, and I'm gonna press complete. But I probably will even need to add, add another click to open that drop down. But that's easy because this is a base te template which I can adjust, and I'll do that in a bit. But the next important bit I need to step, set up in step 2.2, the upload file step, is um, the actual file path. Now, you can click to select files straight off your desktop, but what I'm going to do is pass the file path I showed you in the Google Sheet. That's easy to do because we, we've got a read step at step one. Now all I need to do is press insert data and I can get that data from the Google Sheet. 
I can see the file pass, I save and close. You'll also now notice the loop has changed and it's gonna loop through that Google data. So that means Axiom is now gonna loop through each row in that sheet uploading the files. So all that's left to, for me to do is press continue. Now, for a lot of people's automations, that would be sufficient just to get that set up. But obviously, as I've been building it, I showed you that I need to add an extra step. I need to add this, um, the click to open up the file upload. So I'm just gonna add a new click step here, just in between the go to page. I'm gonna search for click and customize this automation to my requirements. Press select, and I'm just gonna click on the upload. Again, I'm gonna use the um, element text instead of the CSS selector, because it's unique on the page. Press complete, and you see that drop down. Now, that should be it. My template should be all set up now and ready to run. Now for the magic for a bit, I never get tired of watching Axiom automate the browser. So without further ado, let's just click run. Axiom's gonna open up. This isn't me in control, this is Axiom's gonna be automating the browser. This is pretty cool. Let's see if Axiom opens up the desktop. It does. And now what we want to see Axiom is click upload. Next, we should see it click on file. And Axiom has interacted and uploaded the file. I could see it before it blinked off. But what I think is happening is Axiom's looping around and reloading the page before it gets a chance to finish. So I need to stop stop the bot and make an adjustment here, which is really easy to do. I can see it's to do with load time. So what I'm going to do is add a wait step here to give it time. Fix length, let's say of five seconds, I think should be sufficient, they're very small files. And then let's click run. See it in action again. So it's really useful to watch your runs whilst I'm running your bots for the first time, just to observe the behavior and then make any tweaks that you need to do. So now we should see again, Axiom open up Dropbox. You should click on upload. completed the upload. Now it's going to loop through. Let me just drag, make the window a bit smaller. We'll just watch one more file upload and you'll see the completed message uploaded successfully. And that's Axiom automating the uh, browser uploading files to Dropbox, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna click stop now. As you've probably seen already watching this video, all our templates are fully customizable. You've seen how I had to add an additional click, then a wait step to make this template work for my use case. It's as simple as that. You can use our step finder to, to build out any of our templates and customize them for your use case. Okay, um, and if you do get stuck, please remember, Look for the template page on our website where we'll have some helpful hints at the bottom of that page. Also the video here, if you're not already watching, will help. Maybe perhaps if you watch it back, how I set things up will help you solve any issues you have with your template. But failing that, please do remember we've got great customer support. Go to our website, axiom.ai, look for the support link at the top, click on that, share your axiom with us, and we'll get back to you with a solution.